Hi everybody, I'm so glad you're back. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm really enjoying this Home for the Holidays Kitchen Burn series. I love having you over. I love this digital connection. And all of these lives are free because we really want everybody to up their wellness game. So I'm gonna, giving you, I'm gonna be giving you lots of tips and tricks, things that I do in the kitchen. This really is the heart of my home. I'm gonna be showing you some really great mindful recipes using our superfood blend that if you have a sweet tooth, they can replace some of those cravings. Also great things to serve for the holidays and some really great dishes that you can even, even bring to holiday parties. So this is one of my favorites. I can hardly keep these stocked in the freezer because my kids love it. I'm gonna show you how to make this recipe super easy. This is not for our recipe today. This is gonna be for our workout. We're gonna focus on arms and planks today. So if you don't have light hand weights, use cans. If you don't have weights, use water bottles. Use whatever you need. No more excuses. We're gonna get it all done right here. We're gonna work on abs today and arms. But first things first, I wanna show you one of my favorite super easy recipes. So these are stuffed dates and we're gonna stuff them with organic almond butter and cacao, which actually is my favorite flavor. We've also got cafe mocha and chocolate mint this season, but cacao I'm obsessed with. And just so you know, like cacao is a property that's a little bit hard to to work with. It's expensive. Um, I've ordered it from Peru. I've bought it from all over the world. It's really bitter. It's really good for you. It has so many antioxidants in it and great properties. This is a really, really easy way of incorporating all of that. And one of the things that I love about longevity is it's got seven young ingredients, seven really high integrity ingredients. A lot of people are still asking me what this is. It's not a protein powder. This is your opportunity for endurance, for recovery, um, basically a mindful fuel that's so yummy. So I make it in my shakes every day, but this is gonna be a snack. So you can cook with it, you can bake with it, you can sneak it into a lot of things, which I'm all about because we want those superfoods, okay? Everybody's talking about superfoods right now. Really good for you. So. Um, dates. Now, you got to take the pit out of the date. So I'm going to show you how I do that. Don't cut yourself. You're just going to slice open the top of the date and take the pit out, okay? And then you're going to open it up a little bit because we're going to stuff that with cacao flavored almond butter. And I already made some, but I want to show you how easy this is, okay? The first time I did this, it was really sticky and really messy and not so pretty, but now I've mastered it a little bit. And my kids love these. So look, open it up just like that, okay? So when I first started making this recipe, I just did almond butter and I stuffed the dates. Now what I've been doing is sneaking in two really big teaspoons of the cacao superfood blend. So check this out. Mix it up, okay? And I know almond butter can be really sticky. That's okay. We're gonna mix this up. This is what I'm talking about, about being messy. But just mix it up so that it all gets blended together, okay? Not a big deal. Sometimes you gotta get your fingers in it. It's okay. So just mix this up. It actually is gonna give a little bit of sweetness to the almond butter, which I love. If you have a sweet tooth, this is a great snack to keep on hand. It's also a power snack packed with protein. Sweet and yummy. You get a little pop of sugar from the dates, okay? Don't be afraid of that. So check this out. What we're gonna do is take one of these dates and you're just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna grab a smaller spoon. Hang on. Smaller spoon is gonna be the trick. A Couple things you learn along the way. So, get a little teaspoon, okay? Or a little coffee spoon, rather. And just give yourself a nice amount. Don't be afraid of the good fat in almond butter. And you're just gonna stuff this like this, okay? Just like that. Okay, here we go again. In the holidays, there's so much decadence, right? There's so many parties. There's so many opportunities to cheat, which you know I'm all about a little cheat day, but I want you to start fueling your body with mindful meals and finding ways to satisfy that sweet tooth and finding things that you can swap out for chocolate. For me, this is like an amazing dessert. This is an amazing little pop of power, right, when I need a little bit of protein. I used to put dates, you guys, in my smoothies, and I don't need to do that anymore because this is so yummy and so satisfying, and it's actually sweet enough, so I'm saving the calories and I'm saving the extra sugar in my smoothie, and I have so many recipes that I can share with you as well. Fall recipes, holiday recipes, nice. So the first time I did this, like I said, super messy. It's totally okay. Let me do one more because I know my kids are gonna come home and they're gonna eat all of these and I like to get prepared. Take the pit out, 
Stuff it with your cacao. See, use the smaller spoon. Promise you it's a better option. Stuff it right in the middle there, okay? And if you wanted to, which I like to do because it's super pretty, you can sprinkle a little bit of the cacao on top, right? Just for a little bit of extra love. Extra superfoods, okay? Extra energy. That's all you gotta do. Now I'm gonna take this. Normally I make a big sheet, but for sake of our time and our workout, I'm only doing six. So we're gonna put these in the freezer. Come with me. Come with me. And we're gonna pop these right in the freezer. While I'm in here, I'll, I'll keep it real. Dark chocolate espresso beans, amazing. Don't be afraid of that. Um, yes, we keep our tequila in the freezer. <laughs> Not before the workout. I'm gonna show you one more thing while I'm in here. Jade rollers, obsessed. Eyes, puffiness, cocktails, holidays, tired eyes. You need a little pick-me-up. I love this, okay? Just wanted to show you that while we're in the freezer, but that's it. Pop them in the freezer, let them sit. They can stay in there, cover them up. The kids love to grab and go. I'm all about a healthy snack. I'm all about protein, and you know I'm obsessed with superfoods. Love the cacao. So many more recipes <clears throat> coming your way, but right now we're gonna work out. So we're gonna focus on abs, we're gonna focus on arms. I'm gonna rinse off my hands real quick. Grab some water because we're going to need it. Grab some light hand weights or grab some cans. We're going to have some funs. We're, we're going to have some funs. We're going to have some fun working with cans, okay? And you can get it all done in the kitchen. No more excuses. You don't have to drive to classes. This is our digital gym. I'm going to kick off my slippers. I'm going to put this away. All right, everybody. Crank up your music. I want you to have some fun doing this. Planks and arms. And we have been doing plank challenge for the last few months. We've been doing planks and thanks. So we're gonna stay in our gratitude space. We're gonna use all 10 fingers, which I really love this, this little tip. I wake up in the morning and I use my fingers to count all 10 of them, 10 things that I'm grateful for. And it's so important, especially this time of year. We have so many blessings, so many challenges, but so many things to be grateful for. So use your 10 fingers for that. When we do our planks, we're also gonna tap out our 10 fingers. Just gives us a little bit of energy, a little bit of positive energy, okay? What we appreciate, appreciates. I keep saying that, it's not my line, but I really love it, so, you know, I like these little corny one-liners. All right, so let's begin. It's been one of those days for me, so I just wanna stretch out real quick before we get started. I want you to just drop it down into a forward fold. Drop it down into a forward fold, okay? And by the way, does anybody think this is a little much that I dressed up like a Christmas present today? <laughs> This was so cute, but I know it's a lot. I only get to wear this for like one month out of the year. All right, drop it down, rock it out. Maybe take a couple of lunges. Take an opportunity right now to open up your back, left hand on the ground, right hand to the sky. Circle your wrist, both directions. Other side, we call this a horizon if you're a yogi, but we don't have to get fancy with names. Now I just want you to walk your hands out and meet me in a downward dog. We're just gonna take this moment right now to drop our heels, to push the floor away from you, to drop your heels, drop your face through your shoulders, pony out your feet, pony them out. Now part your feet a little bit, bring your heels together, and meet me in a little frog pose. And the reason why I wanna just sit here for a minute and chill out in this pose is because everything's connected to the hips and to the back. Tight hips, sore back, it's just how it is. We gotta open up our hips. We've gotta give our back a break, especially if you're in the kitchen this holiday season. Staying home for the holidays means, if you're a mama, it means a whole lot of work. So take moments while you're cooking. I was talking to my girls in my Zoom class about that. Take moments in the kitchen to take a break and open up your back. So many things you can do. Maybe shoulder dips. If you're not that flexible right here, hold it right here. You can drop down like this, okay? It's been a big training season for me this December. Big month, lots of challenges, lots of classes. I'm loving our Zoom community. I'm loving these live connections. Get the app, choose a burn, you decide. We have so many choices. So just chill out right here, flat feet. Open up the thighs, okay? Meet me on the mat right now. We're gonna land in child's pose. So part your knees as wide as you can. Maybe throw a mat on your kitchen floor, okay? You don't need a lot of things. You need some light hand weights and a mat, right? And an open mind. Drop your chest to the ground. Inch your fingers forward. 
little pressure point, everybody, right between the eyes and the forehead. Let it rest on the mat. Open up your biceps, your shoulders. Maybe take a wide stance right here. Just a few shoulder dips, okay? Shoulder dips. Shoulder dips. Keep going, everybody. I've lost my hair tie. I was gonna pull my hair back, but okay. You got one? Stuart's throwing me one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't have a face full of hair. Okay, so we're gonna begin in planks today. Thanks and planks. We're gonna step into gratitude to get out of our headspace, okay? So all I want you to do is tuck your toes under, meet me back in dog, and drop your heels. Push the ground away from you. Take a huge breath in. <sighs> Take one more breath for someone that needs it, okay? It's a moment to be selfless. Huge breath in for someone that needs it this holiday season. <sighs> now I want you to take a huge breath in for yourself. A little deeper, hold it at the top. Let it go, exhale. <sighs> the next breath we're gonna do, I want you to breathe in only loving things and I want you to exhale something that doesn't serve you in your body. Here we go. Hold it, believe it, and let it go. And meet me in plank. So, plank challenge. I know we hate planks. We're gonna learn to love planks. I want you to round your shoulders, squeeze your thighs, drop your heels together, scoop out your belly, a couple things. This is cheating, this will hurt your back. This is cheating, it's not challenging enough. Meet me right here in your plank. Lengthen your neck. Planks and thanks. I'm gonna start with my pinky. Left hand, I'm gonna go to my thumb, then I'm gonna move over to my right hand. 10 things that I'm grateful for. It's private, so I'm gonna say it silently to myself. But I want everybody at home right now, even if you're watching, 10 things you're grateful for. Planks and thanks, here we go. And if you're struggling, I'll give you some suggestions and then I'm gonna get out of your way. I'm thankful for this class. I'm thankful for the BB Body community. I'm thankful for my family, for my health. I'm thankful for the holidays. I'm thankful for this plank challenge. I'm thankful to step into gratitude and to be conscious, to take care of myself, to be mindful, to be able to share this time with you. So many things. I'm thankful for love. Round your shoulders, let it burn. Squeeze your ribs together, scoop out your belly, and just breathe. Now we're gonna drop back down to child's pose, and we recover. Maybe take one hand and inch it a little, inch it a little bit further. Let your temple rest on the mat. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Let your temple rest. Hi, Billy, come down with me. Whenever my yoga mat comes out, she thinks it's for her. <sighs> Beautiful work. We're gonna go back into planks. We're gonna do a little dolphin. So plank, you stretch, you drop your heels. Back to plank, we're just gonna do 10. Downward dog, drop your heels. Meet me in plank, here's nine. Scoop out your belly and breathe. <sighs> Eight, scoop out your belly, drop your heels. Seven, strong plank. Six. Ha, ah, strong plank. Five, drop your heels. You can slow down, hold your plank if you want a deeper challenge. Stay in your dog if you need a release and a stretch. We have four more. Here's four. Ha, ah, here's three, scoop out your belly. Breathe, I wish I could hear everyone at home. You've got to breathe to get through this. We have one more. Shh, hold it. Beautiful work, walk your hands up to meet your feet. One rag doll. So if you've been on your feet, if you've been shopping, if you've been wrapping, if you've been cooking, this is a great moment for you to bend your knees, grab your opposite elbows, tuck your chin so the back of your neck opens up, bend your knees and just chill out for a second. We've got so much on our plate, just chill out, take a breath, let it go. <sighs> let your lower back open up, let your upper back expand. Bend your knees, we're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time. Touch your ceiling. Take a moment, reach behind you, look all the way up. These are just moments, obliques open up. So lean all the way over. Left hand comes high above your head. It's just a stretch. Right hand comes high above your head. See if you can reach for the ceiling. Open up your jaw, be mindful of your neck and your face. 
We're gonna tap into our core, our center, our source. One more time, each side, all the way over. Maybe circle your wrists. One more time. <sighs> Beautiful work. So, here we go. We're gonna start on the counter. So, we talked about this in the last class. If you were there, if you're doing it for the first time, use your counter for support. If you don't have a counter and you're using something else, use a chair. I want you to support your body. So, let's think of this as a side plank. Reach all the way up and all the way over. I want you to take up as much space as you can. Reach up and over. Hips are high to the ceiling. Abs are engaged. Core is lighting up. Shoulders are stretching out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some oblique pulses. So look, squeeze, squeeze. No face, no neck, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, let's go for 10. The lower you go, the more challenging it is. Nine, all the way up, obliques on fire. Eight, breathing, you have to breathe. Six, good. Five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Here's our recovery, everybody. Walk your feet back as far as you can. Drop your chest, drop your face. Bend your knees, push the counter away from you. We go right to the other side. So the first thing you're gonna do is tap into your core, reach all the way up and over. So here we go, we're pulsing. And we're pulsing up, obliques, squeezing up. Light up your obliques, let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, squeezing, five, four, three, two, and one. Again, we stretch. Drop your heels. Drop them down. Drop your heels. Drop your chest. Walk your feet up now. So you're basically a 90 degree angle right here. Press your hands into the countertop. Come onto your tippy toes. We're gonna do one set of poppers just to light up the thighs, okay? Dynamic moves. I know we're doing planks and arms, but I want you to take advantage of this opportunity. If you're barefoot at home, which I hope you are, open up your feet. We forget about our feet. So we're on our feet all day long during the holidays, working, cooking, loving, serving. Open up your feet. There is so much going on here. Come onto your tippy toes. Look how stretched out my feet are right here, okay? It's a little bit painful. It's okay, stay in it. You're just opening things up. Keep your core engaged. Stay out of your headspace. Just listen to my voice. Here's what it's gonna look like. It's a popper. You straighten your legs and rock into your heels. Normally in class, I do them like this, but you don't have to make it that dynamic. Hold on to the counter. We're in the kitchen. That's what it's there for. Rock into your heels. Look up. Rock into your heels. Tippy toes. That's the key right here, tippy toes. Rock into your heels. We're just gonna do 10. Shh. Thighs on fire, nine, ha, eight, <sighs> breathing, shh, quads on fire. <sighs> we have five more, slow down, tippy toes. Four, tippy toes, don't compromise form. Three, <sighs> breathing, two, breathing, and one, slowly roll it up. So shake it out, everybody, shake it out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our cans. We're gonna have some fun, okay? Light hand weights, if you have them, great. Maybe twos, maybe threes, maybe fives. I only use three on my arms and it's enough because I'm always supporting my own body weight. So cans today, okay? Bend your knees, I want you to sit in your chair. I want you to keep your feet together so you have to use your core for stability, otherwise you're gonna fall over. Here we go, we're just gonna open up our shoulders by making big circles. We go for 10, <sighs> breathing. Nine, sit in your chair. We're gonna get a leg workout, it's a bonus workout. Just being mindful with our movement. Here's seven, compound moves, okay? Functional fitness, we protect our abs, we strengthen our abs, it protects our back. We stretch out our muscles, we don't get injured, okay? We stretch out our feet, we relieve stress in the body, just a couple more. Then together, we're gonna go forward. Look how big my movement is, forward. I'm opening up my back. My abs are engaged, okay? <sighs> Breathing. Let's go for 10, giant circles. Get a little blood flow in the thighs. Nine, rocking it out. Eight, beautiful work. 
I should crank up your music right about now. What's your favorite holiday playlist? I'll share with you some of mine. I'll post it on the gram today, okay? Here we go. A couple more. Heart rate up. Here we go. Beautiful work. Sit in your chair, okay? We're just gonna rock it like this. Touch the ceiling. Touch the ceiling. I'll give you a side angle. Look how low I'm going. So you decide if you're gonna go all the way down or maybe it's just a little bounce today, okay? Maybe you're a little fatigued today. I promise you we're creating energy today, okay? Those are the facts. Dopamine, adrenaline, energy, five. Ha, get a little lower, four. We're not gonna be here long, so let's get the most of it. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work, so here we go. Wide stance, okay? Goddess pose, abs in. Bonus thighs, it looks like this. You reach up and straight, okay? Reach up, and now we're gonna bounce. Straight, squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the booty, squeeze. Touch your ceiling, ha, ah, really low. Squeezing, we're gonna go for 10, low and slow. Here's nine, zip up those abs, inner thighs. Here's eight, you decide how far down you go. Relax your fingers, beautiful. Seven, thighs burning, it's a good thing. Okay, heart rate up. Should be breaking a sweat about right now. Keep going, keep going. Five, squeezing the inner thighs. Four, squeezing the inner thighs. Three more. Shoulders opening up, reshaping the upper body. Think about where your bra goes, everybody. Get really low, we have one more. One more, right here. Hold it. <sighs> Beautiful work, Beautiful work. Shake it up, keep your cans. Meet me on the ground. We're gonna go right back into plank, and we're gonna do a little can toss, a little can roll. So if you're using a hand weight, if it's not round, get yourself a can. We're gonna challenge ourselves again in the plank position. So planks improve our metabolism. They increase our metabolism. They improve our overall well-being. They increase our self-confidence because it's such an accomplishment. We all hate planks, but we gotta learn to love to hate planks, okay? So here's what it's gonna look like. Take one can and you're gonna find your rhythm and you're probably gonna screw this up. It's okay if we get it wrong. Meet me in plank. It looks like this. You're gonna roll it and you're gonna roll it 10 times. Here's 10. Harder, it's harder when the can goes the wrong direction. Nine, here comes Billy thinking we're playing. Eight, <laughs> seven. So slightly turning my torso, right? Six, five, you can do this with a ball. Do this with the kids, four. Planks don't have to be boring, three, two. Beautiful work, and one. Awesome job, now I want you to lower down. Forearm planks, we're gonna do a cheek to cheek. Dancer abs, we have a whole new series coming out called Dancer Abs. We have tens of, tens, more than 10, 20, 30 different ab workouts on the app. We have a month worth of an ab challenge, a booty challenge. You can commit to 10 minutes a day. Here's eight, breathing, seven, breathing, six, five, abs are fatiguing, this is a good thing, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work, meet me on your belly. Up dog, pull your shoulders back. Stretch out your rib cage, your abdominals. Pull your shoulders back, take a huge breath in. Press the top of your feet onto the mat. So good, so good. Child's pose. This is where we recover. Inch your fingers forward. Just take a moment, maybe take a wide child's pose now. And you can drop down into spider. I love this move, it's just a shoulder dip. It opens up the lower back. Opens everything up. Beautiful work, tabletop. Downward dog. Open up your feet again, just another opportunity to stretch out, drop your heels. Give me one three-legged dog. And if you're doing this for the first time, you don't have to get your foot up as high as mine, but bend your knee so you begin to open up the hips and circle that knee both directions. Now we're gonna take that knee past our belly, our chest, through our shoulders, 
into a 90 degree angle right here, okay? Just a moment again to open up the hips. So take this moment right here. Open up your hips, rock around a little bit. Maybe you roll to the outside of your feet. And this is a challenging stretch for many, so just listen to your body. Maybe touch the sky or support yourself. Judgment-free zone right here, okay? You let your body guide you. But if you're rolling to the outside of your foot, get low, see if you can drop that hip. All right, here we go. Hands come down, foot comes back, back into your downward dog, right leg to the sky for three-legged dog. Take a huge breath in, drop your chest, bend your knee, circle that knee all the way towards you. Reverse that circle. Just options, everybody. You're just listening to your body. Okay, nobody knows what's going on in your body but you. Nobody's gonna show up and do this work but you. So I'm just giving you possibilities, then you make choices. You decide how hard you're gonna work. But I promise you, if you stretch, your body will recover. If you make a commitment and you show up, your self-confidence will improve. It's just how it is, it works. If you don't have energy in your workout, you'll create more energy. So drop that down. Have a little faith in your body. Roll to the outside of your feet. So I feel this all the way down my T-band. I feel the glutes opening up, the hips. It's a little uncomfortable. Slightly uncomfortable is okay. Ah, so good, so good. From right here, we finish the plank challenge. Hold your plank, we're just gonna climb. We're gonna get our heart rate up. We're gonna blast some calories, okay? We're gonna improve our overall well-being. We're gonna create energy. We're just looking for energy. It's what I love about the cacao blend and all the superfoods, it creates energy. It's mindfulness, okay? It's a big picture. Fitness, nutrition, mind, body, nutrition, all of those things really matter. 10, nine, you find your own rhythm. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and drop into dog. Heart rate up, that's our goal. Some people think, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Some people think that working out at home isn't gonna be challenging enough, that you're not gonna break a sweat. That couldn't be further from the truth, okay? We can break a sweat here while dinner is in the oven, while you're cooking for the family. You can take breaks from preparing your mindful meals so that you can stretch out your body. Okay, we can find some balance in the madness of the demanding holidays, okay? So now we're gonna go into standing abs, which I really love. You probably haven't done stand a lot of standing crunches. I really dig these. So hands come behind your head, weights or cans, goddess pose again, and you're just gonna crunch. Squeeze your abs, crunch. I don't want this, not forward. Knees are pressing back. Chest is open, okay? Crunching. <sighs> Low and slow. Using your obliques to pull your upper body back to place. Let it burn. We've already done a lot of planks. My inner thighs are fatiguing. Pull your chest back for 10. <sighs> Nine, we're almost done. Eight, beautiful. Seven, squeezing. Six, get a little lower, go a little slower. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down low. Last opportunity to stretch, rock it out. Tuck your chin, interlace your hands behind you. We did a lot of arms, we did a lot of planks. We improved our strength, our energy, our core strength. Open up your hamstrings. Grab both ankles and bend your elbows, okay? Just bend your elbows. I want you to open up the upper back, tuck your chin, so the back of your neck opens up. Meet me in a lunge right here. Just see what that feels like. Maybe you get to a flat foot on the floor, maybe not. No big deal. <laughs> Other side. Hi, honey. Hi. See if you can flatten that foot. Excuse me. <laughs> Just open up the inner thighs, okay? Everything stretches out. Beautiful work. We're gonna end with one more move before we say goodbye. Then we're gonna stick around and do a Q&A, but before we do, I'm gonna go check those power stuffed dates, our cacao almond butter dates, because they're probably frozen by now. It's gonna give me a little bit of a pick-me-up. Then we're gonna connect, because I wanna hear from you, so stick around for our Q&A, okay? Inch your fingers forward. Stretch it out one more time. We're gonna go right into a ladies' push-up with your elbows glued to your sides. 
hands are right by your chest. So it's a child's pose and a push-up. Your challenge is to scoop this out, to engage your core, concave your belly. Here we go. Let's go for 10. It's your stretch that really matters in the hips and the back. Nine, press your hands down on the ground. Eight, now see if you can get your feet to your booty. Seven, squeezing. Six, breathing. Five, breathing heels to the glutes. Four, arms getting stronger, okay? Three, two, and one. Beautiful work, everybody. I'm gonna go check the dates. Subscribe if you're not a user already. I wanna work out with you. I wanna hear from you. You can find me on the gram. I love to connect. So many of us are home for the holidays. It's a beautiful time right now to take care of ourselves, to get stronger than our excuses, to cook together, to share recipes together. I wanna to know what you're doing with your smoothies. Send me recipes. You can find so many of mine on the gram and reach out to us. We have an amazing community that's here for you. I'm so happy that you came over today. I love opening up my home to everyone. Let's go check the day. Everybody stick around because we're going to do a Q&A and I really want to hear from you. I'm going to answer questions. Let's see how these came out. Whoops, a little bit messy, but that's okay. They're not quite frozen yet, so I'm going to grab one because I'm hungry. And I'm going to put them back in the freezer. So good. Mm-mm-mm. I can taste the cacao. It's so rich. I love the almond butter. The sweetness of the date gives me such satisfaction. A little bit of power and a little bit of energy. My dad never let me sit on my counter when I was a kid. So I love doing that in my own home. Mm. All right, everybody regroup. Grab a sip of water. Meet me right back here, less than a minute, so our Q&A can begin. Mm. So good. All right. Oh my goodness. Okay. Woo. I'm going to warm it up because I can't believe we broke a sweat already in that workout. That was so good. Um, these really are one of my favorites. So if you missed the recipe that we made at the beginning, um, these are so easy to make. I want you to try these. It's just almond butter and the superfood cacao stuffed in dates. I love to freeze them. It's such a yummy, such a yummy pickup. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You want to try something that I just made? Sure. You guys remember Big Rig when we did our little partner workout? Oops. Oopsie. We're live here. <laughs> Nothing to see here. Come say hi. Come say hi. My son's walking down. The house is awake. Good morning. Do you want to try one of these? Sure. Love one. Almond butter stuffed dates with the cacao on top. How good is that? Protein? Mmm. Little pop of sweetness. Right? Isn't that yummy? Are you coming to get coffee? I am. Do you want to, do you want to chat and take a question, or are you leaving me? Are you I'm leaving? I'll let you go. Okay, I love you. I leave food for people overindulge during the holidays. You know what? This is a really good replacement for dessert, so I put them in the freezer. The kids love them. You've got protein. You've got the superfood. You've got the cacao, the sweetness of the date. I absolutely love those. Don't eat them all. He tends Delicious. to eat them all <laughs> by any. I love you. All right, so we're going to take a couple of questions. Um, such a good workout. We got it all done in the kitchen. Remember, those workouts are going to remain. So if you missed it live, live, you can watch it again at any time. They will stay on the app. And for everybody that's watching us that's not a subscriber, we gave all this free content away for the whole month of December as our gift for the holidays. But subscribe. And if you order the longevity, I feel like I'm doing a home shopping show right now. <laughs> I don't want to oversell this, but if you if you decide to order longevity, which I hope you do, you get a free month at BB Body. So all kinds of things going on. And if you just want to subscribe, the first week is free so you can try it. We can work out all season long. The holiday handful is there for you with five moves, my favorite five moves for every body part, five minutes in the morning, all kinds of stuff to keep us accountable. So let's take some questions. Um, Cheryl, Cheryl on Instagram is asking, can we order it on Amazon? Longevity is not on Amazon yet, but if you go to brookbrook.com, you'll find all the portholes to get into longevity by brookbrookbody.com. <laughs> I know that's a mouthful, but just go onto the link. Um, there's some bundles that are, that are on sale for the holidays. It's a great gift. 
um, tons of recipes. You can also go into the recipe section on brookbrook.com <clears throat> and see how we're mixing it up. Last week, Giovanna, my girlfriend, was with me in the kitchen. We made an amazing gluten-free cake um, with the cacao. It was so yummy. And next week, just a little teaser, my girlfriend Jenna is going to be with me. And we are going to do a really fun workout um, utilizing the bar again. And I think we're making, Stuart, do you remember what we're making next week? I think it's a chia seed pudding so. maybe. Ooh, no, that was with Joanne. <laughs> we're doing so much this month. Oh, we're making um, uh, uh, oatmeal snowballs that are going to be really, really yummy. That's right. That's right. Okay, so let's see. Another question. Outfit. Everybody's asking about this outfit. I love this. It's so cute. You guys know I work for Skechers, so technically I'm not supposed to promote anything else. But I will tell you um, that the name of the company is... Beach Riot, and I've never worn this line before, but I love to theme things for the holidays. So yeah, dress the part and have some fun. Um, I've got like candy cane workout clothes, Christmas wrapping paper workout clothes. It's so much fun. Um, okay, another question. Um, how many days a week um, do I work out? Well, during the holidays, I like to work out a little bit more because there's so much decadence. There's more spirits. There's more desserts. There's more parties. There's more cooking. There's more entertaining. So I try to work out at least five days a week. And I love what I do. I'm always teaching classes. I'm always choreographing new content for you. I'm doing live, um, live Zooms, which anyone, by the way, who's, who's uh, joining us right now can come to the live Zoom class, which takes place right in my living room. You just sign up on brookbrook.com. Go to live events. It's really easy. You can find out where I'm teaching. You can find out where to meet me in person. Um, that's the place where we announce everything that I'm doing live. We've got one more Thursday holiday handful that takes place right here next week. Same time, 9 a.m. Hi, Gatsby. This is Gats, who you couldn't see, even though we had cats and dogs joining us. This is little Gats. This is Scott's dog. <laughs> um, so we've got one more Thursday next week. And my Zooms are almost every Friday, but just go to brookbrook.com and check that out. Um, and, I, and I really hope that you join us. And the holiday handful is designed so you can knock out a workout, get it done at home, utilizing home equipment. You don't have to spend a lot of time. We've also got the four-week ab attack. We've got the four-week booty burn, also designed to target tone, to get really specific. One of the questions that came in earlier as well is tips for carving out the core. So... Hopefully you noticed that if you joined us for the workout today, but I'm really into sort of target toning, tilting the pelvis, getting really specific in the abdominal cage, utilizing the core for all the different moves that we do. I love mindful movement. I'm obsessed with functional fitness and, and really tapping into the core so that we can use these muscles with all of the other movements that we're doing. So when I'm doing squats, I'm engaging my core, I'm tucking my pelvis, I'm shifting the weight into my heels. When we're doing compound moves, my center, my balance, everything comes from right here. But if you just want to get ab specific this holiday season, try the ab attack. It's a four week program and it's literally like five, six minutes. So definitely do that. And everybody, don't wait for New Year's. Don't wait for a New Year's resolution. I feel like fitness, Christmas fitness, should be all year long. And I think that we should learn how to stay in shape and inspire one another and connect and tap into our best selves all year long. It's not a seasonal thing. Um, so definitely do that. Find me, find me on the gram, connect with me. BB Body has an amazing community and we are inspiring each other. We're sharing our triumphs, our challenges. Um, it's a judgment-free space. I'm actually in there myself. It's not an assistant or anybody else. I'm answering questions all the time. And then I'm taking all your feedback and I'm choreographing content for all of us. So this app really is for everyone. So if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, connect with us. I want to show you a couple more things. We have a new swag drop. BB Body is evolving. It is now BB Body and Soul, which I'm really proud of. What does that mean? It means mindfulness. It means that we're taking moments to reset, to recharge, to reimagine all of our fitness goals. We've got caps. We've got white ones, black ones. We just dropped a brand new black suede-ish um, yoga mat. It's so chic. I love this one too. Really, I think you need more water, so go for the 32-ounce one, but this one fits in the car. So all kinds of fun, new things, new swag, um, new fun fitness challenges. If you've been watching Giovanna and I, and you can revisit last week's live with her as well, that's going to remain on the app. We just did a really fun 12 Days to Christmas fitness challenge that all my girlfriends were all chiming in and doing it together. So it's on the 12th on the 12 days of Christmas, BB Body gave to me. And so we've got 12 moves, and it works in a carousel. And on the 12th day, which is 
my God, it's already Thursday. We have two more days to Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, then we're going to stack them all together, and that's going to be really fun. And if you do it, take a little video and send it to me, and I'll repost your videos. And the only way that I can connect with you on the gram, if that's how you're chatting in, I know we're on Twitter and Facebook and all of the places, but the only way that I can really find you is if you tag us, tag me, or hashtag BB Body. I would love to hear from you. Um, okay, do we have time for one more question, Stu? Stu's back here, too. Let's see. Um, how do you sign up for the app? Um, great question. So you can go to the App Store. Super easy. You can go to brookberg.com and you can find us there. You can go to longevitybybbbody.com and you can get a free subscription if you subscribe there. Um, I'm always putting up links to so find me on the gram. We're trying to make it really easy. It's so easy to work out at home. It's so easy to stay true to your fitness goals. You can set up a digital gym in your living room. You can light it up on your smart TV, Samsung, Roku, uh, Vizio. We're making it so easy. The days of having to be like here on a tablet are long gone. You can put it on your iPad, put it on your computer, take you to the gym. You can even download and you don't need Wi-Fi. So take me on vacation. I want to see your space. I'm always sharing with everybody what I'm doing. Um, last question, too, that just came in also is what I eat in a day. And I just um, edited a reel, so I'm going to post that one later today. It's different every day. I intermittent fast. I break my fast every day with a shake. And I'm kind of a creature of habit, so I don't really get bored with my recipes. But we have a ton of new recipes to inspire you. We've got holiday-inspired recipes using flavors of the seasons, using pumpkin, using... Um, cashew milk, almond milk, oat milk. Sometimes I put a little bit of coffee in there. Nutmeg, all kinds of fun things, frozen fruit. You can find those recipes. I do that, and then, to be honest, I'm really satisfied for a while because I put frozen bananas in there. I've got everything I need in one shake. It's literally a, a breakfast that takes me a couple minutes to make. So I'll have a crunchy, healthy salad with some protein in it, and then a really mindful dinner, which is sometimes soup, sometimes veggies, grilled fish, filet mignon, Yes, I drink wine. Sometimes I have a cocktail. I try to keep that a little bit more mindful during the holiday season. I like Añejo tequila. It's probably too early to be talking about that. But I skip the sugars. I skip the mixers. Um, I sweat. I work out. I do all of those things to develop this lifestyle so that I can enjoy my life. And I really think it's doable all year long, not just the holidays, not just New Year's resolutions. So connect with me. We've got so many tips, so many tips and tricks and secrets. Um, I think that's all the time that we have. I'm so glad you joined me. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter today. Super cool. Um, the TV platform. Also, YouTube, everybody. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. We've got tons of videos, tons of new workouts there. It's a great place to find a lot of interviews that are popping right now um, and recipes. So connect with me. I want to know what you think. And hopefully, I will see you next Thursday with Jen right here. She's so fun. She's one of my best friends. We're going to mix up some new recipes and heat it up in the kitchen. So come back um, and pop me a message today because I want to hear from you. I want to know what you think. And don't forget to make these. Put them in the freezer. Awesome holiday snack. Bye, everybody. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.